Edmund trying to carry on where he left off in dismissing Gustavo Kirt in the former world number one. But Federer trying to play like a world number one and uh, producing some of the best shots we've no, seen yes. from him this week. No. I think he's uh, trying to play like the Wimbledon champion again. It's that sort of surface that lends itself to that type of tennis. Serve there from Hemmer because it obviously caught Federer unawares because he's trying to play it with two hands. Getting a good few in as well on the first serve, 80% at the moment. It's a little disappointing for him because he did wonderfully well off the return from Federer, which was deep and tested him, but he got himself into a winning position in the rally. That's a shot he's been using quite a lot this week, is that inside-out forehand going to the corner across the court. And hitting it fairly consistently. Signs of frustration. Such an immense shot, Federer's forehand. It's just very difficult to pick which way it's going to go. Huge racket, head acceleration through the shot. And again, he's troubling Hemman. Precise play again from the British number one. Good enough to get him through that game. Well, there's an intensity about him, but also a calmness. And clearly, I think the match against Grosjean, having got through that, he enjoyed himself out there. There's a lot of noise in the crowd. And since then... 
really settled into this tournament. Yep, he says. And why not? Right in the zone for him. 40, well inside the baseline, and again, knowing that Federer is probably going to come in behind it, forces him to hit it. And he had a sweet shot. Serve, we continue. Federer strong enough, and he leads 3 2 in the first. Stay with us. A good even contest so far. Little to choose between them. The serve holding sway just about at the moment. No break points so far. But maybe some fireworks to come as this first set. Builds towards its conclusion. The Swiss here in force, the cowbells ringing around. And fans too for Henman. 2 3. now and I've had quite a few looks at second serves Look out in row and yeah, three. Yeah. Shot through. 50. I think Federer's going to have to do a little bit more with the return of serve at the moment. He's allowing him to get the ball on his forehand and then really penetrate Federer's backhand. And the one thing that Federer does on the backhand at times that hurts him is prepares a little late when he's pushed on it and therefore can just sort of guide it back into court. Curving away just as he wanted it to. Federer guessing.
And on the serve we go. Just going back to that point about how much uh, Roddick wins, how quickly he wins his matches now. Easy potentially does. If you look down the stats of the service games won, Roddick wins 91% of his service games. Federer, though, exactly the same number of matches this year. 87% of the service games won. Well, perhaps you could argue Federer wins matches easier than even Andy Roddick is the fact that he breaks his opponent so many more times than the American. 30% of the time compared to Roddick's 21%. Oh, he's got him. <laughs> Someone to take home. <laughs> Ouch. Well, it wasn't struck like Lendl, because if it had a done, Emma would have been calling the trainer. friends on tour so no malice intended from Federer oh. so another game on serve just to up that percentage a little bit good stuff from him and then still there 4-3 Federer first set 